Welcome. And where are your parents? I'm so excited to meet my in-law. Oh, look. They're here. Hello. Hello. Guillermo? Do you know each other? Oh, yes. We were university colleagues. Guillermo. Lupita. Did you marry Lupita? Mom. <gasps> that voice. It seems familiar. Who is she, my dear? It's Patty. Patty Lupercia, remember her? You were best friends. How could I forget her? Patty, you were like a sister to me. Where are you? Give me a hug, please. Yes, yes. Patty. <laughs> it's been almost 30 years. I thought you were part of my past. I dream of an unfinished love that will remain only in my memories. But suddenly you appear and shake my world like the first time. Oh my god, what kind of cruel joke is this? All of this seems like a joke of fate. But please, come in. Food is served. I'll catch you later. I'm going to pick this up. Let me this help way, you, Mom. my dear. Careful. Are you okay? <laughs> Your mom and I were tremendous when we got together. Hi, <laughs> we drove all the boys crazy at school, right, Patty? And <laughs> yes, sure. Who would have said, huh? And did you have a lot of boyfriends in that time, Mom? Although she had many suitors, she never wanted to date anyone. I know there was a boy she was crazy in love with, but she never wanted to tell me anything. <gasps> and there's no point in talking about the past. Besides, I don't even remember his name. But stop talking about this. Why don't you tell me what has happened in your lives? <laughs> well, after graduating from college, I... I went to work out of town, and when I came back, Lupita looked me up. We started dating and fell in love. Shortly after the, the fire in my house where the windows were blown out and... Well, you know. Then we got married and... It's all history, right? What a small world it is. But what a great coincidence. Yes. Well, I think it's late, right? Uh, I think we have to leave. We had a really fun afternoon. Thank you very much, and it was great to see you again, Patty. We're looking forward to the wedding day. It was really great to meet you again, Patty. Yes, of course. It was a pleasure for me too, but please allow me to walk you out. I'm taking my mom to the car. Yes, careful. I'll catch, catch you, you up. Guillermo, it was really great to see you again. Me too, Patty. Me too. Guillermo, you know, I've always been in love with you. Always, all these years. Why are you telling me this until now? Do you know how many times I waited for a call from you? A visit? You run away. I never heard from you. You just simply disappeared. I knew Lupita was in love with you. What she never knew is that I was too. I didn't want to hurt her, so I ran. I wanted to disappear from the scene. You were my friend and she was my best friend. And why didn't you talk about back then? If you had said it, you will realize that I loved you too. But well, I don't know why I'm talking about that now. All these years, I live regretting being such a coward and keeping quiet. 
But now that I've seen you again, I realize I'm still in love with you. And it's... And it's not too late to try it again. If you... If you still have feelings for me. Patricia, I... I haven't forgotten you either, but... I have made my life. As you understand, I can't leave her. She's blind because of me. You're telling me you married her just out of pity? No, I've been very happy, but I don't think there's any chance of anything happening between us. Not anymore. <sighs> Forgive me, Guillermo, please. Forgive me for having told you all this nonsense. Forget it. Bye, Guillermo. We will meet again until the day of her son's wedding. Dad? M my mom and I are waiting for you. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patty, I'm glad to see you again. See you later. Dad. Thank you very much. Everything was delicious. Yes, see you later. Let's go. Goodbye. Guillermo? What are you doing here? Patty, I can stop thinking about you. Since the last time I saw you, I don't want to waste any more time. I want to try something with you. But what about Lupita and our son's wedding? Don't you think I know? Let's go. Let's go far away, you and me. Let's go where we can be happy. This is crazy. Don't you think we're being too selfish? Sometimes we have to be selfish to be happy. Dad? What are you doing here? Uh, nothing. I came. I came to talk something about the wedding. Yes. But it's okay. I'm on my way out. Yes. Um, uh, it was nice to see you, buddy. Me too. Hey, listen, if you want to, I'll give you a ride home. I'm going there too. Yes, let's go. Goodbye. I love you, my dear. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Patty. Uh, goodbye. Hi, Mom. Hello, sweetie. Come in. What were you talking about? If you decide. Meet me at the park in front of the university. First thing tomorrow. Mom! Yes, sweetie. I'm coming. Mom, are you here? What is this? Guillermo and Patty. <gasps> what is this? If you decide, meet me at the park in front of the university first thing tomorrow. No, this can't be possible. Gustavo, I need to talk to you immediately. Good morning, Mr. Guillermo. Josuani, but what are you doing here? I'm sorry to give you this unpleasant surprise. It was my mother you were expecting, right? I see that you're planning to run away with Miss Patty like you were teenagers, right? Son, but what's going on here? Don't be a bastard, Dad. Why are you doing this to my mother? She gave you the best years of her life. She's blind because of you. And you're just gonna abandon her?
Gustavo. Sweetie. But how... Don't you think you're old enough to do this kind of things? I can't believe my own mother wanted to ruin my wedding doing these things. Sweetie, I'm really sorry I didn't tell you about this before. But I was so embarrassed, please. And don't think I did all this with the intention of ruining your happiness. I didn't, sweetie. And where's the respect for my father's memory, huh? You married him? Loving this man? You may be very much in love, but if you didn't fight for your love at the time, it is already too late. And you, Dad, you're married to a wonderful woman. And you, Miss Patty, don't forget that she was your best friend. Yes, you're right. This is crazy. This shouldn't have happened. Let's go, honey. Let's go to the Patty. house. Sit down here. Gustavo and Guillermo told me everything. That's why I decided to come here to clear all this up. Please forgive me. If I never spoke or said anything, it was only to not affect you. And even less, I wanted to ruin our friendship. I really beg your pardon. Patti, I also have something to confess. I always knew you two were in love. That's why I always told you how much I love him, so that you wouldn't try anything with him. When Guillermo left town and came back, I told him that you had already married someone else before you got engaged to her man. <laughs> what are you saying? But why you didn't talk about that with me? I know what I did was wrong and selfish. And I know it's been a long time already. But the only thing I wanted is being with you. <laughs> but since we met Patty, I realized that I have lived in a farce and a lie that I made of myself. What? Mom, you can see? Yes. I have gradually recovered my sight. But I keep quiet because I was afraid that your father will abandon me. My blindness was the only reason he will stay with me. What? You have manipulated me all this time? You made me marry with you just for pity? <laughs> so stupid I've been. You're so despicable, Lupita. <laughs> I never want to see you again in my life. I know it's no longer time to ask for forgiveness. of affection you have always given me! So I have decided to step aside. I hope you can forgive me, Patty. And you, son. No. I can't hate you because you're just my mother. But I hope you have some dignity and don't show up to my wedding. I'm sorry, Patty. I stopped living my true love to avoid hurting you, to avoid harming you or our friendship. But I see that the only thing the only thing you need was to be selfish. 
can never think about me or, or affection. Lupita, I hope I never see you again. I'm truly sorry. Mom, forgive me. I realize now how hard it must have been for you to separate from the love of your life. Dad, forgive me. I couldn't stand being apart from Josuani. There's nothing to forgive, son. You're just loyal and caring with your mother. You're a great man and a great son. I'm so proud of you. Mom, Guillermo, you deserve to be happy. Both Gustavo and I want you to live your love fully as we live ours. There are people who are destined to meet and love each other, but not to be together. There are loves that survive time. Oblivion in the storms. Sometimes there are unfinished stories that desperately seek an ending, a ray to be continued.